So for the past four years that I've been shooting Sony, I have been wrong about color science, okay? Before Sony, I shot uh, with Canon, and when I made the switch from Canon to Sony, I definitely noticed a difference in the raw files. I noticed it. I think we all have this, this very biased uh, perception of our cameras, you know, because we subconsciously justify our camera brands. You know, the, the, the camera that we chose, we subconsciously are just like our camera is the best okay so here's the dilemma when i was shooting with sony and i would have people switching over to canon or canon shooters saying oh the canon skin tones are superior than sony's i would say well you know what look these are all raw files it's like clay you can mold it to whatever you want and i could get the same tones out of my sony and i would dead set on that so recently i've been able to play with all the new the newer mirrorless cameras the Nikon z6 the fuji the eos r and the sony and I started comparing the raw files. Here on the on the left is a Canon raw file. Here on the right is a Sony uh, raw file. Now the images look very, very similar. I'm gonna put the values back to zero because I made a couple of adjustments that I wanna make, you know, it's a point that I wanna make here. All right, so here we have the Sony file on the right, the Canon file on the left. Now, to the naked eye, no one could tell the difference between these two files. Us photographers, we definitely notice a difference, and I definitely do. The Sony file is just a more contrasty, punchy image straight out of camera. There are more oranges in the skin tones. The Canon is more muted, more true to life, in my opinion. Now, to make the Sony look more like the Canon, I tried my best to do it. I noticed there's more oranges in the skin tone. I would desaturate the oranges a little bit in the skin, make it look more like the Canon, maybe a little bit less contrast. And to me, that's as close as I can get to the Canon file. But the Canon does have certain characteristics like in the in the shadows, there's more magenta. There's just something about the Canon file that I can see why people love these colors. Colors are very subjective, but I do like the Canon colors better overall than the Sony. That doesn't make the Sony's bad at all. Like I said, it's, it's purely subjective. But if I can choose, I would choose the Canon over the Sony. Fuji also has some great color science. I did some, I took some pictures here with the Fuji as well. I think this one was taken with the Fuji. Yeah, this is a 56 1.2. And again, to the naked eye, you probably couldn't tell the difference. You start to notice the difference when you start color grading the images and start pushing those tones, you start to notice it. But I wanna talk about Canon and Sony because these are the two camera brands that I've owned and I've shot with. Okay, so the point that I wanted to get across in this video is number one, I was wrong about color science. There is a difference in the raw files. Canon does have better skin tones in my opinion. But with that said, don't base a camera or a camera purchase solely off color. Now, I totally get it if you're buying a camera that fits your workflow better, that you're matching it up with another camera and the colors just sync right and it's just easier to color grade for you or whatever your reason is, I get it. Workflow matters. But if you're buying a camera solely based off, oh my God, I've heard the colors are great, so I'm gonna go buy a Canon, I think you're making a mistake. I think that there's so much more that a camera offers that you should be looking at like can i afford the lenses can i afford to buy into the system i personally got into sony i love the eye autofocus for my portraiture i love the dynamic range that i get i love the ability to shoot video and all the options that it has because i do youtube and photography so this is a great hybrid camera and that's why i shoot sony now if canon were to come out with a camera with the same features as the a7 III, but just the canon version then i might consider switching because color might push me over the edge you know what i mean but as of right now the nikon sony fuji they all uh, the color output are great so yeah that's my little rant for today um, expect a lot more behind the scene videos coming very soon because it's getting warm out. I literally just have two film that I got to post. So stay tuned for those. Um, let me know what you think down in the comment section and I'll see you in the next one.